G'day YouTubers, how's it going? Uh, I'm sorry I haven't been on uh, online um, for a while, but I've been um, helping a guy out with my with, with his boat. Uh, he needed another engineer on on site, and uh, I was the guy that got called, so haven't been on the Babington courts uh, that much. However, um, Mr. Backhand still rocks on. So, uh, for those who don't know me, or for those who are new to the channel, uh, my friends call me Mr. Backhand because I play badminton. I play in the A grade here, or A plus grade. I don't know what that would be to you and where you're from, but um, but generally I'm um, uh, my friends call me that because I hit backhands essentially. Well, they say I hit backhands like Torfik all the time. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not, but um, but I could certainly reach the back of the court with with no hassle. Um, the only person that can hit like Torfik is Torfik. However, um, a, a lot of uh, you new subscribers are welcome. Welcome to the channel, and um, all the new watchers. I guess some of you are curious, and some of you just want to keep an eye on me, but uh, either way, welcome. It doesn't matter who you are. Um, what's new? Well, new websites uh, up and running, mrbackhand.com, with all new videos on it. Uh, much the same information, we've just added a bit more. We split the video up into, into different segments, and now it's got a security codec on it, so um, that, that's good for us. But um, it's still um, it's still MBG, so you're, you're, you're still good to go. So MBG, money back guarantee, um, for the those who don't know what that acronym means. I use a lot of acronyms, so I'll try not to, try not to do that. Uh, here we have, I've got a few emails here. Now, when people email me, I try not to, uh, um, if you don't want to go onto YouTube, we'll, we'll respect that. Um, I've always said it, and we still do it. Um, people email us all the time. Um, generally, when I come back and check my check my emails, I've got a, I've got a flood of questions um, from people who are just struggling out there. So, um, millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of people play badminton, and a very, very slick few are good at the game, and the rest just struggle. So, for those who are good at it, well, you're done. Um, you don't need us. But for those who are struggling, uh, sometimes you need to talk to somebody, and I guess that I'm accessible uh, on YouTube where some of these academies are very, very expensive to go to, or maybe you don't have the money to join them, but you'd still like to know. Either way, we're here. So, uh, first question comes in from Mixie45. G'day, Mixie45, whoever you are. Um, generally, your, your email is you're struggling. Uh, what, te do, what technique do I use? Um, Mixie, I don't use technique. Uh, most modern day badminton players don't use technique at all, they use what's called racket skills. So, that might sound a little bit crazy, but um, you really need to understand how a badminton racket works, um, because that's what you're holding on to. Uh, if you don't understand how a racket works, then then no amount of technique is really going to help you. So, but generally, I mean, you, you can, no, no one's stating that you can't use technique, but technique was, was an old way of trying to understand how um, badminton players did things and if you're still out there trying to use technique um, this is why you've got the word I'm struggling so perhaps you should get away from using um, this invisible word of technique and move into something more concrete use physics use racket skills uh, most players that you see in the super series are using racket skills I've interviewed some of these guys I've talked to them on the sly and yet none of them are using technique. Most of these guys are using racket skills because quite frankly, they know how it works and they go out and do it. But when you see them do it, uh, or other people talk about it, um, they think it's technique. Um, if you were to use technique in badminton, you'd be using literally millions of techniques to play the game of badminton, therefore it would take you an entire lifetime. Well, uh, no, don't do it that way. It's just gonna take you an entire lifetime. So better that you just learn how badminton racket works than go out and use what's called racket skills to, to get what you wanna do. Uh, that's what I do when I go out and play. So depending on the shot I need to play, I will use whatever racket skills are necessary to get the job done. That's what I do. So, um, so I hope hopefully that answers your question. Um, I think when people talk technique, I think I, we really honestly think that people get technique confused with styling. But um, no, racket skills are what you need to do, and you really need to understand the racket. Um, if you don't, well, you're in trouble. But we do explain it on the video. If you go to MrBackhand.com, it's all there. Um, and um, and you once you watch that, you'll totally understand it. But it's all physics, uh, and we explain it from a conceptual perspective so that we don't bombard you with, with, with too much technical jargon. Okay, Earl W. Um, what technique is used for the... What? What have you got? What technique is used for the... Oh, for the technique of the backhand. You've got that twice. Okay, no worries. Um, Earl, okay. About... When you, when you play backhand smashes and things like that, um, number one, you can hit it on the cork and you hit it on the side of the shuttle, and you really want to come down what's called the negative side a little bit. If, you, if The negative side is the, is the um, 
if you look at your clock, if you look at a clock and you're, and you're going 12, if you're going 12 to 6 and then 6 to 12, you're coming down the 6 to 12 side, generally about 6 to 7. Um, so then what that does is it actually stops the rotation of the shuttle and it gives you clean, fast eddies ac across the shuttle. So um, some guys can cut back across the uh, across the positive side to, um, you know, like trick shots and things like that. But generally, if you want to play a decent, fast, hard backhand, come down the negative side a little bit. Not too much, otherwise you'll end up cutting the shuttle. So about 7 o'clock is good um, for that. Um, but as far as technique is concerned, again, yeah, you're, you're another one. Um, you really need to understand how a racket works. Um, so Earl, here we go. Uh, for you, if I take a badminton racket of any nature, um, you really need to understand that a badminton racket works from the center of the shaft, where's the camera, center of the shaft, um, out towards both, both ends. And that's how a badminton racket works. Um, for those that don't understand this, um, if you don't understand this, you're in trouble. You're in serious trouble. Because instead of actually understanding the energy um, of a badminton racket and how it works, you're now just trying to use whatever technique you think is you're looking at in badminton, and you're trying to use that. Well, um, it doesn't work that way. I mean, I mean, oh, sorry. No one's saying you can't do that. You can do that, but you're not going to um, achieve the hits that the other guys are doing, the A graders are doing. So, um, so you really, really need to stop using technique and start to using racket skills in the game of badminton. Otherwise, you're going to get caned. You're going to get absolutely murdered out there if you don't start using racket skills. So, whether I'm using this racket. Um, Earl, or I've got a couple of rings down here in my bag, or if I'm using this one, or if I'm using this one, it doesn't matter. Um, all rackets to me are generally the same, they're just different flex rates, that, that's all they are. The, the higher, the, the, the stiffer the flex, the, the harder the shot, but you've got, to have a, you've got to have a good strong arm to be able to use um, that. So in doubles, if you're going to use a, a stiff shaft of racket, you've either got to have a Godzilla arm on you, or... Um, um, I mean, because it's just taking too long to um, to get flex out of the damn thing. But yeah, but the energy release um, of a racket works from the center out, um, and effectively, uh, you've got these little points up 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 the racket that also help to release. So the whole thing is just releasing. However, um, when you play your backhand smash, if you look at um, anybody you know, hitting like that, especially guys like Torfik and people like that, um, number one, the racket will come back straight, uh, and you can do that using two methods. One is you can release it from one end, two is you, you can release it from both ends. Um, when I back end smash, I release it from two ends, it's just easy to do, and the shuttle gives me what I want. Um, but, but while you do that, come down the negative side a little bit, uh, and that'll help you out. So, what does the negative side mean in, in, in badminton? Well, I mean, that's just the terminology that, that I guess we use, um, so let's try and give that some meaning for you. When you look at a shuttlecock, because when they make feather shuttlecocks, they put the, the feathers are essentially left over right, and they're always left over right. So the shuttle, when it's coming at you, if it's going to hit you in the face, it's actually spinning clockwise. Uh, also, the the whole thing about it is, is that when you when a when a right hander hits a backhand, he will hit either the shuttlecock straight on, he'll hit it on the side, or he'll hit it slightly down. It's I, I guess the if you're a right hander, it's going to be right of you. So um, if you're looking at the clock. Um, it's going to be, if the flat side is the 6 o'clock, you're going to be hitting it just on the 6 to 7. Now, a lot of A graders and professionals get away with that because they know there's a slight leeway that before they start to cut the shuttle. Um, you'll see them warming up generally. They'll, they'll be using racket skills and using that six to, uh, 6 to 7. Generally, even in the middle of 6 to 7 because it, it stops the rotation of the shuttle, makes the shuttle fly straight, it gives you fast eddies and away it goes. So... That's what you have to do, but you're not using technique. You really have to understand racket skills, and then you can then use a technique or techniques to then get to that, to get to those racket skills. Um, all that's explained on the video at mrbackhand.com. So again, it's MBG, so either way, you're good to go. So um, Earl, I hope that answers your question. I show the racket releases from the middle out, so when you hit when you hit backhand smash, release from both ends. But either way, if you release from one end or both ends, it's still doing it's still doing the same thing, but it's actually faster to release from both ends. Um, I don't know how many people know that around the, around the planet, but, uh, but we do, um, and I hope others do as well. All right, Gamer Boy 145, um, what do you got here? Okay, 
you've got, um, have I seen the video of Wayne Ann? Yeah, I've actually sat next to Wayne Ann and talked with him. Um, he's a formidable character to even sit next to, look at, or even be on the, on the court with. Um, uh, even for me, he's um, a bit scary to look at. Formidable, uh, it would be the right word. Uh, he was down here for the New Zealand Open, uh, and he kicked ass. So when you see Wayne Ann smashing, what he's doing is he's actually doing that um, 6 or 7 o'clock. So you'll, you'll always see, the reason why you, a lot of smashes don't work, and this is part of your email to me, Gamer Boy, is that you're saying that some of your, your smashes aren't, effectively you've got no power in your smash, if I sort of read that correctly. It's because you're right-handed. Um, I, um, I saw your video clip, we've got it here, and what's happened is that you're effectively, because the shuttle's spinning at you and it's coming clockwise, and you hit it down the right-hand side a little bit, uh, even if on it's 5 o'clock, you're still continuing the spin. Because of that, a, a spinning shuttlecock will always fly slower than a fast shuttlecock. Why? Because you're asking the air to come into the shuttlecock and then curve around the um, curve around the feathers, and because of that, it's it's slowing up. Right? The the, the quickest point uh, or the quickest methodology is, is between two points is a straight line. Well, you're asking the feather or the the, the, the air to, to curve around. Well, that's not a straight line. So it'll always a spinning shuttlecock will always be slower than one that's coming straight at you. So when Wayne Nan hits, you'll notice if you go back to the video and watch it in slow mo or watch it very very carefully. You'll notice he hits all the shuttlecocks either flat on or comes across it slightly on the negative side. And that way he gets that immediate crack off the shuttle and he doesn't slow any smashes down. Now that's not to say, um, gamer, that you know if you come down the right side that you won't have a you won't have a fast smash. Of course you will. You'll have a fast smash. But you're not going to have a fast, you'll either have a bigger, a bigger crack and a bigger bang off the shuttle if you slightly hit it face on or come down the negative side a little bit to stop that rotation in the shuttle. Um, I hope that answers that. Um, yeah, hey look, um, keep the questions coming. Um, for all those that want to email me, I'll leave, a, I'll leave my email in the, in the low bar. For all those that want to go and, and get the video, um, the, the, um, the, as I said, the new, the new site's up and working at mrbackhand.com. We'll leave a link for you there, you can kind of have a look at that. Um, and if you, wanted, if you, if you want your, your, your emails um, up on... Um, up on Want me to read your name out? I can. Um, G'day to James at the Muddy Farmer. Thanks for subscribing. Um, one of my buddies down there at one of the one of the bars I go to to, to drink at. <laughs> he became, became a subscriber. I don't know why. <laughs> Silly things we do. Um, sorry, I'm not one of those um, crazy video editing guys that likes to chuck up all those you know great videos. Um, but this is more of a uh, a teaching aid channel rather than just you going out and watching uh, Lynn Dan kick the shit out of everybody else. Um, there are other channels for that. I'm sure you go on those. So, yeah, hopefully that answers a few questions. Um, as they keep rocking on, we'll keep answering them. But for now, I'm sure that um, I'm sure that helps you out. So, Mixie, I'm not using technique, I'm using racket skills. I think you should go and learn some. Earl, um, release your backhand smash from both sides of the racket. Um, either way, the racket's got to come straight in your hand. So you can either do it both ways, but um, I'll do it from both ends. Um, and Gamer Boy, yeah, um, you try smashing clean onto the shuttle or come down the left hand side to stop the rotation of the shuttle which will um, which will stop the airflow from slowing down the shuttle as it spins. Hope that answers those questions. Uh, keep them coming. Um, it's all good. For those who want to um, who fear backlash and things like that in the badminton community, don't worry about the guys that are going to give you backlash. You're always going to get that out there. But we will certainly keep your, um, if you want to be held anonymous, we will keep, we'll respect that and keep your names uh, um, uh, secure so that um, so that, so that you are secure. All right, I think that's it for now. It's been a long day, and uh, I don't know, life to live. All right, everyone. Catch you later.